Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Shreden and in this video we are going to do a walkthrough for Joomla 4 beta 1. This is something that was released over the weekend about 48 hours before I'm making this video and since it was the weekend I'm only getting together uh, getting to it now. And uh, the version beta means there are going to be no more feature additions which means we're not going to have any new features after this release and it's only going to be bug fixes from this point onward. So this gets us closer to the long awaited Joomla 4 release which um, should should be very soon now. I, I still don't know if it's going to be a few weeks or a few months but it is going to be sooner uh, before the end of this year of course I think uh, but you never know. All right, well, without further delay, let's dive into it. So here are a couple of features that are listed in this version, and we'll go through them one by one, see what's useful and what not. So install Joomla within a blink of an eye. This one is actually very true. It only took me like 60 seconds to install it, and I was done, so that is correct. Second one is brand new interfaces, back end and front end. And you can see the back end is actually a little more polished. It has uh, more, more of an edge to it when you look at the look and feel of it. But uh, I don't think it's the case for front end too. The front end looks the same uh, right now. So I don't see a major difference in how the front end used to look before and how um, in the previous version of Joomla 4, Joomla, you know, the alpha, 12 which was the last one a couple of months back or this one it, that looks pretty much the same but uh, apart from this back to top button which I think is new but the back end looks different so uh, there's shadow here you can see when I mouse over over any section there are shadows let's look at the new article creation scene and you know we have the kind of similar thing we have in older Joomla version so there's you got to put a title in you got to put an alias in and there's image options publishing just the uh, same amount of stuff we have and obviously this this is new you know so you can now insert a link to an article a contact menu module right here and which works great. I think we reviewed it in the last video. So it's nothing new in this version, but certainly something new in the newer version of Joomla. Uh, where previously, if you wanted to link an internal item, you have to kind of add a third party extension like JCE editor or something to do that. And you have this toolbar which lets you put in emojis and, and all that stuff. So this good good stuff here. And uh, these buttons are a little improved. So there's better UI there. Right, and going here, Joomla is people first. We in, aim to ensure the ex, uh, the templates are accessible. So this is on, I think, on the front end and back end as well, where uh, you know people with any kind of disability can uh, browse to your website. I don't know if it's that true for the back end. I could be wrong, but I know it is true for the front end as well. A fully rebuilt media manager. So this is the big talk about media manager. It lets you do a lot more rather than just uploading images. So I'm gonna upload an image here real quick. And it looks like the image upload is also Ajax. Wow, so yeah, you just select the image and that is Ajax as well. So it looks like it's all much faster and it's all Ajax based. So if I click this, you can see there's a bar that, that goes all the way around that is that just tells that this is all on, based on Ajax. And obviously there is uh, stuff you can do on individual images too. So if we select the image and click edit, you can rotate the image and you can kind of move it around, resizes. So there's cropping, you can change the quality all within the back end, there's that. There is resizing, if you want to resize an image, right? There's that. Yeah, the tool, this icon is a little off, but yeah, you probably want to keep this proportional because then it looks bad. Yeah, okay, and obviously you can rotate it 90 degrees or just 45 degrees if you want to. 
yeah, kind of looks weird. But yeah, these are really just of the few new features in the media manager. Uh, let's see, we can download the image. Uh, I don't know what this one does. Oh, this is for rename. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, we don't have all tags there. So not fully accessible. Uh, this is just to view the image and close it. And this is to copy. So this one is good, actually, because I've always wondered in the in the current version of Joomla, this has always been the limitation that you cannot copy the link to the image. You know, you can see it, but you can't really copy it. And this kind of overcomes that, gives you a lot more if you're trying to do anything, you know, copy this image. Because for anyone non-technical, they have to like copy this name here and then, you know, use your web type, website path if they want to use the image somewhere manually. So this is useful in the media manager. We, you can just copy the path of the image. Um, there's that. All right, back to the blog post. A new workflow, manage your content in an advanced and customizable way. Now, this is something that we cannot cover in this video, uh, but we'll just look at workflows real quick. So, and I just have to figure out where uh, the workflows are actually. I believe it's not here anymore, but it's supposed. it was supposed to be, uh, at least it's supposed to be li listed. It used to be listed under a content and really just a workflow is a flow of publishing content on your website. So you, let's say you have uh, someone who submits content on your website, but you don't uh, trust or you don't want that content to be immediately published. You want it to be reviewed by someone else. And if that person approves it, then you want to review it. You can kind of set up those kind of workflows, like who's reviewing content and then who's go it next email notification is going to all of that and then you know kind of publish content on your website multiple people can contribute to publish content but it's not visible here so maybe it kind of uh, got taken out at the last minute or or maybe it will be back and, and i'm not just seeing it but let's move on web services and in a in a simple 30 second if i can explain web services it it really is um the ability to access content of your Joomla website via an API. So anytime there's a mobile app, there's a third-party service that wants to connect to your website, they have to connect using, uh, they have to get the data using an API. I mean, there are other ways to do it as well, but the simplest one is if your website has an API, they can just ping the API, get the latest content. So whether that be your users, whether that be your content, articles, categories, anything, and then display that in the mobile app or a third-party application. So Joomla 4 has this feature. We created a Joomla 4 tutorial, which uh, covers this thoroughly. Uh, cast iron security features, features like support for SQL statements so your website stays safe and secure. So this is really in the core, making sure people, hackers cannot get into your website. I cannot test this. I don't feel qualified enough, but uh, this, assuming what they say is true, uh, this should uh, limit the hacks to your website to, to a lower number. HTML mail template customization of emails sending emails from your site has never been so easy. So this is something new in Joomla 4. If we go to system and then mail templates. So these are all the emails. And so there's a test email that gets sent. There is the contact email, the contact copy email, the mass mail, the new user email. and the idea is this list will increase over time since these are really, I think, just a few emails that go out. There are a lot more emails that go out. And the idea is the the extension developers, third-party developers would start using this feature. So if there is an extension that sends out email, a particular kind of email, you would be able to override that email from here. So it's just creating a language override, but gives you a lot of ability to control what happens and what kind of emails go out from your Joomla website. So this is again a new feature and uh, would be a game changer if all the extension developers start using it. 
All right, uh, next is we have improved and expanded command line interface, uh, interface for smooth integration of your components. Uh, this is again not useful if you are like a total developer or someone who wants to make use of the CLI, but really my, I have and I've not personally used this feature, um, but really this is just making sure that uh, there are simpler ways to do things using command line rather than you know doing it using the back end whether that be integration with your extensions or running some sort of mass update or whatever next we have a cleaner and more powerful code base this is something uh, we have always talked about Joomla for uh, supports namespaces which means faster performance for your website and the power of Joomla framework merged into CMS, which means, you know, you, if you're coding on Joomla, not using Joomla as a CMS, this would help. This would help speed up the process where it gives you the back end, but you can also use Joomla's code to, uh, you know, really create your application. So this gets into the concept of a headless CMS, which is another video of, of itself. So we're not going to dive into that. An enhanced event dispatching system. Now, events are something that dispatch when you create a new article or create a new user or create a new group or install a new module or save an extension. And Joomla has a ton of events that let extension developers dive into things and collect data and, and return data. So this system hopefully has been enhanced where we'll have more events and more power to do what we already do, what extension developers already do. And that's pretty much it about Joomla 4, v beta 1. And we hope we'll have the final release very, very soon. Thank you all for watching.